people say, well, there's nothing that's unique about us. And they really believe it. And I know that that can't be true. So there are a couple of ways that um, I have went through this in my recent course that I did. And it seems very helpful, at least, in helping people to understand how they might differentiate themselves. Because you tend to just like kind of throw your hands up and walk away or else you think you absolutely 100% know. Um, but for those who throw their hands up, you could try thinking about whether your product design or the way that you provide your service um, is different from your competition or from how people have done it previously in your industry. I'm not going to list all of these out or go through each one of them, but um, by going through them, I think that you can maybe land on a way to figure out what's different about you. And you may find that there are five things that are different about you, which is very cool. Business point of view, for example, since that doesn't really explain itself, um, that's like Tom's. Like Tom's the shoe people, um, they are creating shoes. Their design is a little different, so they could say we're different based on design, but it's really their business point of view and what they're doing to help people um, across the world with with their shoes. Anybody who's familiar with Tom's, um, and it'd be worth, if you're not, even if you are, it's still worth going over to Tom's, I think it's Tom's.com and signing up for their newsletter because they have really awesome drip campaigns too for anybody who's interested in email marketing. Um, but that's one side point about um, business point of view. There's many different ways that you can differentiate yourself. Just have to take a look at this list and then um, see which ones might be true for you.